Austin's deadliest weekend of the year has some searching for more public safety solutions. Police are investigating four homicides, one in West Austin and three in East Austin. And this is all happening as APD has to stretch its homicide detectives thin to help cover patrol shifts. KXN's Brianna Hollis reports. You know, this weekend was tragic. Four homicide investigations, five deaths. A night of violence followed by a day of questions. How does a strapped department handle an acute homicide caseload? What was your first reaction to seeing Austin police officers having to work so many homicides that happened in a short span yesterday? Just knowing that they're so overwhelmed, they don't have the staff for it. Many of them are currently out on patrol. This double duty is one of the reasons DPS was brought in to help patrol Austin streets. APD says having homicide detectives help out with 911 calls is its quote innovative approach to addressing staffing challenges. You have to secure all of that evidence. Alexandria Bills and worked as a crime scene specialist for APD until 2021. She shared insight on how long processing crime scenes can take. You're on scene for maybe like five, six hours. If it's a really big scene, 10 hours, 12 hours, and that's just the scene. The next day, you have to go pick up the autopsy evidence. From one call to the next, it was a real shock to the system. Stephen Rivas, a public policy consultant in Austin, says he hopes this pushes the city and the Austin Police Association to come to an agreement on a police contract soon. We absolutely need to come to a consensus. It doesn't matter if it's homicide or some other crime. All of these detectives are being forced to go out and supplement patrol, work patrol shifts. So their caseloads are not being picked up by other detectives. Now we reached out to DPS to see if troopers could have had any role in helping manage workloads for APD homicide detectives this weekend. A spokesperson says the agency doesn't have anything to weigh in on on this front at this time. As you know, the city ended its partnership with DPS last week after this, a traffic stop involving a man and his young son. But Governor Abbott ordered the agency to still continue to patrol in Austin amid the police staffing shortage. And Bree, we do understand that this is the first time this year we've had three homicides in one day. When is the last time we've had a stretch like this that really raised a red flag for APD? So it was actually pretty recently, it was back in March where there were six homicides in the span of 10 days. You can see them all on the map here all in different parts of town, all in different city council districts. Police called the number, quote, unusual, but also said these were all isolated incidents, meaning none of the crimes during the spree were random. There have now been 39 homicides so far this year, Jen and Daniel. All right, Brianna Hollis, thank you so much for all of that.